Hello. So I'm out for another walk in the public city park that I like to walk in. It's very hot, but I'm out before it gets too bad. Is it hot where you are? Comment below. Where are you listening from? Oop, there's a... <laughs> I'm just noticing all sorts of little little guys while I'm out walking around here. There was a lizard that's just passed. Tiny little lizard. Oh, I had a friend a long time ago who taught me how to catch lizards, actually. So, oh, uh, I'm not going to get into that today, but um, yeah, there's a really cool method of catching lizards, not to harm them. The friend that taught me how to do that a long time ago, he was also a nature lover like mm -hmm. me, so, so yeah, so he taught me just how to, how to catch them and pet them and um, pet their tummies even, which is pretty cool. So let's see, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, I know what it was. So I've been doing this really fun thing lately where I ask the universe or God, however you want to think of that, source to show me things. When I usually do that when I'm out for a walk, I could go, hey God, show me this thing or that thing. Today I'm asking God to surprise me, like give me a happy surprise, something magical. I said something magical and something that makes me happy, something that makes me smile when I see it. So, and also I asked God to show me some rain clouds. Last time I went out for a walk. So this is the thing, because I kind of like to just play this game with God where I go, hey God, you know, show me this thing or that thing. Some of the things I ask to see are not that unusual or far-fetched some of them are just like come on how are you gonna how are you gonna pull that one off you know but i believe god can do anything so so i asked god to show me some rain clouds last time and uh it was pretty hot too the last time i went out but sure enough i rounded a bend in the in the park and right up ahead there was this huge bank of sort of grayish clouds on a completely clear day otherwise. Hot summer day, and then there were all these clouds. I was like, what? I've had some other really amazing things too. It's just a game that I've been playing more and more with God, with the universe, because it's just fun. And I think the universe, you know, God, I think likes to play with us, you know? And have fun because we're all God's children and so it's kind of neat to think about God that way or the universe that way as uh, you know our really amazing parents our really amazing mom and dad and always wanting us to be happy I don't buy into that you know God wants you to suffer to grow that kind of stuff um, but yeah, I think God would rather have us be happy. So, so, and I think that God would rather that we make each other happy or try to, you know, help each other out than make each other unhappy. So that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? So anyway, um, so the last time I was out, I was asking to see the clouds that happened which was amazing and then I asked to see a butterfly because I hadn't seen a butterfly in a while I saw some in the spring so I thought eh, that's probably gonna be you know kind of unusual maybe yeah so kind of like a small thing but at the same time I felt like that was kind of a, a stretch so I didn't see a butterfly came home I think it was the next day or the day after that I got a handwritten letter from some friends 
who know that I like, you know, handwritten notes and cards and stuff. And their little address sticker had a butterfly on it. <laughs> so I called them up and I was like, oh my God, you know. So I just told my friends the story and they were like, that's amazing, you know. I have friends that believe in that kind of stuff. So, um, so then the next day after I got the card, I went out for a walk again. And guess what I saw? A butterfly. Oh my God, I just saw another butterfly <laughs> just now. A little, a little white butterfly moth, you know, flying across my path there. So that's amazing. So, yeah. So I was, so this ties into another topic that I want to talk about, which is lucid dreaming. You ever heard that? I think we've all heard that um, rhyme or that little song. Um, Life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Um, trying to get into the park here and get away from the traffic more. Um, so does anyone out there lucid dream? Like, do you know how to do that? I do that once in a great while like all of a sudden I'll wake up quote unquote sort of wake up in a dream and I realize that I'm dreaming and that I can do anything in that dream so does anyone out there listening know how to do that have you ever had that experience are you practicing doing it um do you do you dream often? Do you remember your dreams? Yeah, I, I don't remember every dream that I have, but I feel like I remember the important ones, like the ones that matter, you know? So anyway, so life is but a dream. Who's that comedian? Um, he passed away. What was his name? Oh, I'm blanking on his name. I will try to remember to look him up when I get home and get ready to post this video because yeah I'll put a link to the video that I'm thinking about of um, one of his stand-up uh, stand-up shows where he's talking about you know sort of the same topic or a similar topic so anyway life is but a dream like, how do we know which one is real and what is real, you know? I think that everything that we perceive as real in this 3D world, what seems like a 3D world, is not actually real or it's not what it seems. But anyway, back to the dreaming. So if I'm asking for things beautiful things to see in this waking life switching ears then isn't it kind of like I'm or we are lucid dreaming creating co-creating with source with God in this waking life or what seems like our waking life like how do we know which is which kind of think that maybe they are sort of one and the same you know when we're sleeping and when we seem or when we think we're awake we're kind of awake in both and maybe the more that we can be awake in our dreams that positively affects us in our and what we perceive as our waking life, which I think is also sort of a dream. Let's kind of enjoy some of the sounds here a little bit because I'm going deeper into the center of the park where there's more grass and stuff and trees. So what do you think about that? 
And have you ever experienced like literally just asking the universe, God, to show you something? So some of the other things that I've seen out of my walks when I asked to see something was I asked to see a bluebird. This was, I don't know, a month or so ago. And I just sort of, you know, asked and then I just let it go. I mostly let it go. So it was a sort of a cross between expectation and just letting it go like if I see it I see it if I don't I don't but I'm kind of now I'm realizing that um, it, it will come like with the butterfly I've seen three butterflies so far one today one on the card and one the day after the card. And three is a sacred number. So when I asked to see one bluebird, I saw two. They were together as a pair. Have you ever heard the phrase, the bluebird of happiness? So I th thought that that was a positive omen. Two of them. Anyway, I'm not sure how long I've been talking. Coming into the center of the park now. I don't know if you can hear that the traffic is sort of fading away. Mm. Seeing, I just saw a white flower. I really do believe that the more good we do in the world, the more benefit of the doubt we give to others, even when it might be challenging to do that, the more we are kind and compassionate and understanding and forgiving the more we are rewarded by the universe for that because I think the main universal law is love. It's love and only love. So that makes sense, right? When we love, when we're loving towards ourselves, then that reflects in our outer reality we're rewarded for that. As we can't do anything about what someone else is doing and we're not always correct with what we perceive or we think is correct. Like how can we be? How can we ever be experiencing what another person is experiencing? We can't. We can we can only trust that the universe is taking care of all of us and sees everything. And no worries. Just peace. Tranquility. Softness. benefit of the doubt, giving others the benefit of the doubt, giving the universe the benefit of the doubt.
Maybe let's just listen to the sounds now as we're walking along here. I think I'm going to close here, but before I do, I hope that we can all mm, be kind to one another. when someone is feeling, I don't know, challenged by life. So karma is real. It's real. And the more we genuinely care for one another, right, from the heart where we feel it, even in times where we think that we're in the right, to know that we don't know. We know that we know nothing. Like that famous philosophical quote, I know that I know nothing. And there's wisdom in that. And there's peace in that. And to be okay with disagreeing, you know, if we don't see eye to eye, just agree to disagree. Disagreement only causes ourselves more suffering. I promise it will make your life easier. Always be kind. Agree to disagree. So if you can't work it out with someone or a group of people, you know, just choose to say, okay, that's cool, it's fine, and take a deep breath and just let it be, let it be. I promise you, if you keep going your good intentions and your kindness and your compassion not to the point of depletion okay pouring from a full vessel allowing the universe God source to fill you up to fill yourself up with love you know that's I think what self-love and self-care is about opening our crown chakras and letting the divine pour into our bodies and that is continual. When we keep that open, when we keep the Ace of Cups open, which I think of as our crown chakras, our heads. When we keep that open, the water just keeps pouring in and pouring in and pouring in. Continually. And then we always have love to share an overflow of love to share with others when it's asked for we can't force that on someone when it's asked for or when we see there's a need 
and your good karma will just keep multiplying and multiplying and increasing and increasing and we can rise and rise and rise higher and higher and higher you know on that spiral that life spiral maybe next time I'll talk about there were, there was actually another topic I wanted to talk about but I feel like I've run out of time here so maybe next time that relates to everything I was just talking about I have to make a mental note all right sending you all love and light talk to you soon bye Thank you.